All right, what's up, YouTube? I'm back. It's been um, two months since my last update. Normally, I have my notes on the side for you. Oh, man, listen, that's how I keep track of all that shit. I'm just saying, I, I did. Um, more or less, for the last two months, I've been between 147 and today's weight, which is, oh, we got to do this right. I'm sorry. When I first started my weight loss journey was December 3rd, 2012. Today is, this, I'm sorry, February 10th? Yeah. February. <laughs> I swear, since I started this damn journey, I can't get dates right to save my life. Today's February 10th, 2014, and my weight for this morning was 148.4. And I've been between 147 and 151 for the last two months. I keep going up and down. I've been having um, weight loss throughout the week. 44 pounds, 46 pounds, 48 pounds. So anyway, that's a weight gain from my last video of 0.8 pounds. Um, again, if... I didn't have the excess skin in my gut, I really would be content with my weight itself. <clears throat> Seeing the excess skin makes me feel fatter than what everyone else is seeing me as. Because you guys see me in clothes already. You're not seeing me naked. You're not seeing me nude. No, my skin does not obstruct my crotch area. It stops right about here. My crotch is down here. But it's because um, it's, I guess, not flat, it's not tight, it's loose. When I bend over, I look like I have four breasts as opposed to two. I mean, that's the best way to describe it. I bend over, like dangle, 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 dangle. I'm mostly have two, I look like I have four. Um, that's the best way I can describe it. Um, I'm not really stressing my arms. I'm not. I think I'm doing good in this area. I mean, it's still loose skin here. I don't think I'm going to get rid of it. But for the most part, listen, that's what they made long sleeve shirts for. Um, uh, skin removal surgery, expensive surgery, with and or without insurance. It's as simple as that. That's my focus right now. My focus is uh, getting that skin removed. I have an appointment with one surgeon on February. Who cares? Listen. I got two appointments coming up this month. I plan on keeping both of those appointments. Um, <clears throat> I scheduled them for regular days off because I didn't think I was going to be out on comp at that time. So, point is, they're scheduled. I'm going to keep my appointments. It's funny because the out of network doctor I chose was over $300 for that first consultation in network. The visit is $20. So, you guys could only imagine. <clears throat> that I'm going to deal with and seek help from the in-network doctors before I decide to go with the out-of-network doctor who's going to cost me an arm and a leg. Uh, and what's funny, it wasn't the money that encouraged me to go and change to the doctors. It was actually the fact that a friend of mine just had her uh, breast lift and her stomach done. And she had it done at one time. My doctor was like, no, we're going to do the stomach first, then we'll do your arms and your breast. I don't want to get cut up like that over and over again. Once you cut me, and I know what it feels like, 9 times out of 10, I'm not coming back again. I know what to expect of something. I know what pain is going to come with that surgery, so I'm not going to come back. So it's like a one-shot deal for me. Cut these, fix those, fix that. One-shot deal. I don't have to worry about being in pain again. Once it heals, I'm back to normal. I'm okay. Um, <clears throat> so... For me, that's what I'm going for. I'm setting up to see if I can get both of them at the same time. It's my preference. I really don't want to keep going back and forth with the cutting in them. I just, I don't. It's not something I look forward to. It's the end results from having that surgery that I look forward to. Anyway, guys, like I said, nothing's changed. Uh, I, I assume my entries are the same. I'm actually 0.8 pounds bigger than the last video. So there's not much for me to really pour. My locks are growing and I'm trying to keep them up uh, oiled. Um, I keep it tied down when I'm home. I really don't have it out much. 
So if you see me running out the street, most likely I'm going to have a scarf on because there's no need for me to do my hair not working right now. So you guys know how I am. You know what I'm doing. Not much has changed with my diet. Um, I will keep checking in with you as I do these consultations or these appointments with these uh, plastic surgeons. <clears throat> I'll do an update with you guys from there. I probably won't do one with my normal background, which seriously needs to be changed. It's time for some new curtains, man. It's time to upgrade. It's been a year we've had these curtains up. I like to see some new look in here. So, uh, anyway, I will keep you guys posted with that. Um, I don't laugh. I don't know if this is real. It's going to happen. Like I said, I want to be between 140 and 145. For some reason, my lowest weight to date is 146. That's the smallest I've ever seen. I've never got to 145. I've never seen 140. It's a goal because during that time of the month, yes, I said it, um, there's a five pound weight gain, two to five pounds. So if I'm 140 and I gain five pounds, I'm where I want to be during that time of the month. Yes, it's only three to four days at last, and yes, it's bloating maybe for five to six days, but listen, it's, it's a time period that really makes me go, ugh, I could do without it. They could take this body part, I don't need it. Anyway, with that said, guys, as always, um, take care. Thank you for your support. Thank you to my new subscribers. I'll see you when I see you. Peace, peace, y'all.